Stuck With You by Ariana Grande with Justin Bieber is going to be played using bar chords. Before you just give up already, let me tell you, I'll show you two different ways to play it. One involves nothing but bar chords because that's the way it's being played. I can listen to the song and tell it's being played with bar chords. But the second way that I'll show you uh, will be with a capo with somewhat, um, you know, maybe slightly more standard, easier chords. So for the correct way, the bar chord way, the first chord is going to be a G sharp. You're going to bar with your first finger across the fourth fret. Your ring finger will be on the five string sixth fret. Your pinky finger will be on the four string sixth fret. Your second finger will be on the three string five fret. Your first finger still grabbing that bar on the fourth fret of strings one and two. So that's your first chord. And the a strumming progression here for the whole thing is like basically down, 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 down down, 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 and that last down is a bit of a pop across the higher registered end of the string. So like the down, 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 first three downs are in the lower register, and then you pop across the higher register. Uh, the second chord, you can hear it actually walk up to the B sharp, which is otherwise known as a C. <laughs> um, so I would walk that by going with my first finger uh, from the G sharp on the 6th string 4th fret to 6th string 6th fret to the C uh, note there, 6th string 8th uh, fret is where I'm at. And it's going to be a C minor is what, what it will be. So you'll bar across the 8th fret of uh, the guitar with your first finger, and then your ring finger will go down on the five string 10 fret, your pinky finger on the four string 10 fret, and then your first finger bar is still grabbing uh, the rest of that chord. Then you wanna slide up one fret to a C sharp major. So your first finger slides up to the ninth fret to bar. Your ring finger is on the five string 11 fret. Your pinky finger is on the four string 11 fret. And your second finger is on the three string 10 fret with your first finger bar grabbing the nine fret of strings one and two. Then you're going to go to, what is this? This is an F minor. Uh, so I've shifted basically a major bar chord shape. I've shifted it down one set of strings. My first finger is barring the eighth fret again, but now my ring finger is on the four string 10 fret, my pinky finger is on the three string 10 fret, and my second finger is on the two string nine fret. So there's your F minor, and then it goes to a D sharp, which I'm making uh, is like a giant power chord shape almost. My first finger is grabbing the sixth fret of string six and five, with my pinky finger grabbing the uh, what fret would that be? The eighth fret of strings four, three, and two. And that's your verse and chorus progression that just repeats. That's the C minor to the C sharp major to the F minor to the D sharp major repeat. All right, the first change that we've got in that is in the bridge. The bridge is going to be this is a C sharp major. I'm making it uh, similar to how I made that D sharp just a second ago. Uh, my first finger is barring the fourth fret of string six and five with my pinky finger barring the, uh, the sixth fret of strings four, three, and two. There's my C sharp, and then I'm going to the G sharp from earlier. So first finger barring the fourth fret, ring finger on the five string, six fret, pinky finger on the four string, six fret, second finger on the three string, five fret. And that alternates. So C sharp, C sharp, to the G sharp, the G sharp, back to the C sharp, the C sharp, and then it comes up to the D sharp. So that's our C sharp shape, just up two more frets. We've already played a D sharp once. Uh, but just to remind, first finger barring across the sixth fret with your pinky finger or ring finger if you want, uh, if that's easier for you, along the 
an eighth fret of strings four, three, and two. Uh, after the bridge, we come back to our H, uh, we come back to our G sharp major. We do our walk again up to this C, but after the bridge, the first time this C gets played, it's, get, it's getting played as a C major. So you can hear in uh, your second finger needs to be down inside of like, it's, it's the same as our C minor chord from before, except for you're putting your second finger down on the three string, uh, what fret? Three string at nine fret. So your first finger bars the eight fret, your ring finger on the five string 10 fret, pinky finger on the four string 10 fret, second finger on the three string nine fret. It becomes a C major, slide up just that this exact same shape, slide it up one fret to your C sharp major, which is the same from the verse. And then after this C sharp major, it goes to a C sharp minor, which you can either make by keeping this bar position and just lifting your second finger to make it a C sharp minor, or I tend to like this lower C sharp minor just because it's an easier uh, fret for me to like it's easier for me me to fret this chord so the lower C sharp minor would be bar with your first finger across the fourth fret ring finger down on the fourth string sixth fret pinky finger on the three string sixth fret second finger on the two string five fret so you let that C sharp minor decay and then it's back into the original verse progression of A sharp walk to the C minor, I said A sharp, I meant G sharp major, walk to the C minor, come up to the C sharp major, go to the F minor, to the D sharp, and then to the A. I keep saying A, to the G sharp major. Okay, so you hate bar chords and you want something that has more standard chords in it capo on the first fret of the guitar and we're going to play out of G formation. The chords here would be a G chord to a B minor chord, which the B minor is still a bar chord. Everybody hates that, but I'm, I'm helping you escape like every other bar chord. So a G chord to a B minor chord, to a C major chord, to an E minor chord, to a D chord, back to the G chord. So that would be your verse and chorus progression. G to the B minor to the C major to the E minor to the D chord to the G. When we get to the bridge, the bridge would just be a C major to a G major like G major shape back to the C major shape up to a D major shape. And then we've got G to a B major this time. So earlier in the actual key, we were talking about how it was a C major. Now it becomes a B major, which you would make by, instead of the B minor power chord, you've got your first finger um, barring across the relative to the capo of the second fret. It's the real third fret, but I'll speak as though the capo is the nut, so one, two. You're going to bar across the first fret with your first finger and then use your either ring or pinky finger to fret uh, the fourth fret of strings four three and two that's your B major then into your C major and then you've got to go to a relative C minor chord which you can either play that same real C sharp minor bar chord that I showed you from earlier or if you're in a C major chord you could do that so Usually in a C major chord, you've got your second finger on the four string relative two fret. If you want to pick up your second finger and move your first finger to the four string one fret, dropping that note one fret is what turns it into a minor chord. So you could just strum like uh, string six, five, four, and three open to get a C minor. Uh, my ring finger is on the six string three fret, pinky finger on the five string three fret, first finger on the four string one fret, open three string, 
avoid the open two and one here. There's your C minor, and then back to the G, to the B minor, to the C major, to the E minor, to the D major, to the G. So, um, those are the chords and the movements to Stuck With You by Ariana Grande with Justin Bieber. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.